Polk State College will have to cut $2 million from its budget as part of a statewide effort to reduce spending in the 2020-2021 state budget. Governor Ron DeSantis ordered state agencies to hold back 6% of their current budgets, President Angela Garcia Falconetti told the Polk County Commission last week. The order came as DeSantis is struggling to balance the state's $92.2 billion budget in the face of continuing tax revenue shortfalls brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic. Falconetti told the commission she could not discuss details of proposed cuts, but that they most likely will come from cutting or laying off employees. About 80% of Polk State's annual budget goes to payroll, she said. The college employs 1,000 people, including 180 full-time faculty members. Polk State gets half of its revenue from the state and the other half through tuition and fees. Polk State administration had already implemented a $2.7 million budget cut, primarily through administrative cuts, such as restricting employee travel. None of those cuts affected staff levels. Polk State could face another revenue shortfall in tuition revenue as enrollment for its fall semester is running 8.5% below a year ago. That's better than many other state colleges who are reporting enrollment shortfalls of 10% to 20%. It's difficult. It is. I don't envy any of these people making these huge Mm -hmm. decisions. Well, and it's it's kind of a trickle down. The, The money's not there at the state, so they've got to cut the budget, and the budgets keep getting cut as it moves down. And, you know, some of these schools, you know, Dr. Falconetti mentioning, you know, they've already had cuts. They've already been cutting back. You're to the point at this point where there's not a lot more that they can cut in their, Mm -hmm. in their services and in their administrative costs. It it, it then comes down to payroll. So hopefully, um, hopefully tuition, you know, tuition attendance goes up and they can continue to operate um, at a high level.